Shalom, everyone. Welcome back. Sorry, just give me a moment. I press live too fast. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. <laughs> I'm Kenithia Johnson. Or Kenithia J. Do the Apostles' Creed and Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Amen. Amen, Holy Spirit. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread. Forgive me of my debts as I forgive my debtors. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Ten to your O. I believe we go Apostles Creed. That's a lot better. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered our departure as Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. I just want to say, I ain't covering my tongues for nobody because you feel weird. Tongues is a language the language to the most high God you're not supposed to know what we're saying sometimes he'll give you revelation if he's trying to enter you into that language but you think I care that you call me weird because I speak tongues in between my words I'm here to serve the Lord the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from there, he would come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the Christianity Church after the Holy Catholic Church. I like to add that in there. The resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, amen. The Lord says, tend to your own garden. Tend to your own garden. So the, the scripture is coming from my daily devotional, Song of Psalms. Oh, we way out there. We're going to finish this thing early. Song of Songs. 2 verse 15, excuse me. And this is the brothers of the Shulamite woman, and they were they were responding to her request. Okay, she was making a request at this point in the song, in the Song of Solomon, and it says, "Catch us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes." Okay, I like. But it say her brothers here. It say specifically say her brothers are responding. So I don't know why I was I'm glad I didn't read that part. It say her brothers. It say her brothers. So I don't know where they get this lover from. That's not what that that's not who responding. It's her brothers. Okay. God is really speaking to somebody, so I'll just read it, but I'll edit 
that it's not it's not a woman speaking to her lover in this particular part and even when she is referring to love she's speaking to jesus in this psalm so that's her lover is the lord and this this but anyway i, I stick with 2 verse 15 her brothers responded okay so the beautiful love poem and song of songs record a conversation between a young man and a woman catch for us the foxes the little foxes that ruin the vineyards he said perhaps he saw hints of foxes that could ruin their romance like jealousy anger deceit or apathy because he delighted in the beauty of his bride so this is saying this is between a man and a woman like a lover which I'm not saying they're they wrong, but in my Bible it says her brothers. And then right up under it, it says catch us the foxes. So I don't, that's the confusion part for me. It say her brothers. Anyway. So perhaps he saw hints of foxes that could ruin their romance like jealousy, anger, deceit, or apathy because he delighted in the beauty of his bride. He wouldn't tolerate the presence of anything unwholesome. She was as precious as a lily among thorns to him. He was willing to put in the work to guard their relationship. Some of God's most precious gifts to us our family and friends although those relationships aren't always easy to maintain with patience care and protection from the little foxes <laughs> we trust that god will from the lord it's <laughs> just joking i guess we trust that god will grow beautiful fruit where have you become complacent in a close relationship what foxes are you tolerating all right that's the first revelation. The second revelation I got was actually looking into a commentary um, for this whole thing. And it actually took me back a little bit to last night at the Potter's house. With um, That's it. Okay. And so one of the things that was referenced last night was the same is what the commentary is saying. We can defy God and perish or we can surrender to him and be blessed okay we can defy god and perish or we can surrender to him and be blessed one of the things bishop tt jakes always like to say is, is what you do at the end is how you like you have to finish strong right and so if you do all this good work and you get to an end and then you're a jealous, angry person or deceitful. Like you just, you have, you. it's like you're fighting with yourself at the end of the day. You're defying God. You're going to perish and you're fighting yourself. Don't be the jealous person. Don't be full of anger or deceit. Okay? Don't don't Adoba. Don't come against somebody that's protecting their relationship and have an issue with them and now you're their enemy because you're not tending to your own garden. Mm. Tend to your own garden so that way certain matters that are not yours cuz it's not supposed to be that kind of public matter you won't fight against somebody for their own personal choice. Tend to your own garden, says the Lord. Okay? Don't worry about this person getting with this person. Well, he should make that choice. She should tend to your own garden. Don't have a jealousy spirit. Don't dirt about it. Don't get into things that are not your concern, says the Lord. We can defy God and perish, or we can surrender to him and be blessed. We have to tend to our own garden, our own family, our own relationships, our own calling, our own purpose, and not be upset at the one next to us getting promoted. Tend to your own garden, says the Lord. 
not have an evil eye will god keep blessing her will god keep blessing him and what about me tend to your own garden it's their time We can defy God and perish, says the Holy Spirit, or we can surrender to him and be blessed. Tend to your own garden, says the Lord. Shalom.